So these dresses were actually from the Disney parks. Um, slightly upper end, I think maybe from that Bibbidi Bobbidi boutique thing that I've never been to because I'm a boy mom. Um, I was interested in them and I'm sure there's a resale market. I'm not sure how high they sell for. I actually couldn't find any exact comps, but she was asking $50 a piece and she wasn't really interested. I could hear her talking to other people sort of negotiating at this yard sale. So I decided to skip them this time. Oh, I was Your shirt is uh, probably three dollars. Okay, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Okay, you too. Thank you. These 80s purses were so cool. They're all Always fast flips for me. They don't sell super high, but they do sell quickly usually. How much are your purses? Five dollars. Unfortunately, I only picked up one from this lot because the rest of them did have some visible damage, just some cosmetic wear. But the one that I did get sold yeah. in just a day of being listed. Oh well. Gosh. It's a water gun. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Thank you. So I got the purse, the shirt, and then I found oh, okay. the sweater as well. About ten dollars. Sure thing. Thank you very much. Would you like your hanger back? No. Are you sure? Change for twenty budgets. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, I don't need no extras. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You have a good. Oh, you have a lovely day. Okay. Thank you. I've sold quite a few vintage super soakers from like the 90s or so and they've done well for me in the past. This one was not vintage though and the comps just didn't look fantastic. Now, 
know the Checo brand sandals are something I like to pick up as well when I find them at yard sales, but I cut it off usually at 10 to $15, uh, just because I usually resell them for anywhere between 50 to 60. And unfortunately, even though these were in pristine condition, she was asking 25 for them, and that was just a little bit too far out of what I was willing to pay. this costume is uh, okay thank you hey I've got two and four thank you <laughs> thank you so much have a good day Guys, if you've never heard of this brand before, I want to let you know about it. It's called Jujubi. Now, not all pieces are made equally, but if you find some of their collaboration pieces, they have some with like Disney, Harry Potter, and also Toki Doki, where it's got that kind of kawaii style vibes. Very, very cute, very, very colorful. Some of those pieces are really sought after, and they have very limited releases a lot of the time. So keep your eyes peeled for Jujubi. Can I ask how much your diaper bag is? Two dollars, okay, thank you. That's cute. There you go, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Hi, how are you all? Very good, thank you. I got five dollars on the books and 25 cents on the pet things. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, really? The white, white, white wall poker tires? Like 25 bucks. You have to know, like, you. You have to get down there early, but. Oh, we're early. We'll get what down there. you want. Huh. Thank you. How there much you are your jeans? Uh, thank you $2. all. Two dollars. All right. Thank you. I'm going to take both pairs if that's okay. I'm sorry. If, I hope it will have to send you back in. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. We'll have your bag for the car. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. You too. Enjoy them. Thanks. Thanks. 
All right, you guys, welcome to the haul. Here is everything I picked up at today's yard sale. So let's start down here with the costumes. It's never too early to start getting costumes, put away, all listed, ready for the Halloween season, even though we are in, what, June right now? Perfect time to be gathering them up. So this is just a child's Peppa Pig costume, brand new with the tags. That'll do absolutely fine. Um, come Halloween, that was $2. And then for $4, um, I got this little set where it's just like an LOL surprise whatever the heck this thing is lol surprise doll prankster eh, i'm unfamiliar i'm a boy mom um but this was walmart exclusive just because it was only 20 dollars doesn't mean that there won't be some child this halloween that really wants to be this particular character and they can't find it anywhere because walmart only carries them sort of like year to year depending on what's particularly popular um so sometimes especially when they're brand new they can still be worth picking up Next, this was the only item I got at this yarn sale, uh, Jujubi. This is a brand to be on the lookout for, especially any of their prints that have like characters and stuff on them, or even honestly, their solids. Um, this is an older piece. This is the older sort of logo as it were, but this is in pristine uh, condition. This is a diaper bag. It's like a diaper bag kind of company, like a mommy bag kind of company, um, but they are expensive. They do run expensive. And these, like I said, this is in amazingly pristine condition. So this has a pattern name and a style name for the bag. Um, I've already reached out to one of my groups to figure out exactly what they are. Um, and I paid $2 for this. And she actually said like, oh, that is such a deal. And I thought, I know it is because um, these bags are anywhere from, I would say like 80 to maybe like 140 or so. Next, just a couple of wonderful 80s pieces here. Um, I did, I looked at all of the bags. They were all, I think, did you say five? Was it five dollars? I can't remember how much they were, but this one was far too fabulous. And I just could not leave it behind i recently sold one that was like this but not half as cool um and it sold for like 35 i think i have one 80 sweater here complete with massive chunky uh shoulder pads and all kinds of cool sequin uh, work and this one is a combo of silk and rabbit hair so a great fabric content there for an 80s piece and then this one i haven't even seen in full i just I just couldn't not get it. So uh, we have a music themed kind of Western shirt. Again, super 80s. I'm sensing some shoulder pads involvement there as well. All kinds of musical notes. We have what looks like sort of piano keys at the cuffs and also around the collar here. It's just far too much of a neat novelty piece for me to leave behind. And this was $3. And lastly from this yard sale I have two pairs of men's Carhartt jeans they were um two dollars a piece these can do really nicely just as a bread and butter piece usually sell anywhere from like 25 to 30 and these are carpenter jeans and they are in really really nice shape so two of those I may lock them together I may sell them separately and lastly I grabbed um this box here so it was like five dollars for the bag and it's all tarot themed and um, I am not interested in these books I don't think I'll like scan them to double check but I don't think I care about those what I was interested in was this deck right here so this is the universal weight tarot deck and book set from 1992 and it does appear to all be complete inside as well as all the inserts and stuff and the last one of this exact uh style that sold was around 30 to 35 or so so for five dollars it was worth me grabbing it just for this and that's everything I grabbed at today's yard sales. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you want to see more yard sales and come along with me shopping for things to flip online for a profit, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you never miss a video. All right, you guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.